Just wandered into Brendan Ingalls gym in Sheffield. Good body shot that was from Johnson. get the impression that Prince Nassim himself is just taking a little look switching stances going orthodox like now for a while he's normally a southpaw in the past Johnson's had problems with southpaws once or twice so you can see there's a great deal of mutual respect Ahmed is having a, a long look at Johnson as well he's getting a little untidy there now they build this up close and personal in the last 48 hours it's got uh, very personal a bit of an Anglo-American grudge match. And Johnson didn't like that. Hamed still trying to rattle Johnson. And Prince made to miss. Be sure that Johnson will have watched videos time and time again and will have tried to work out a style to win this. Prince Nassim has been predicting a third round victory second tonight, but this second round, round is one that he's particularly favoured in the past. Any kind of win would be fabulous for him, never mind getting the prediction of the round right tonight. up on the jab neatly Johnson good right hand which was taken well by Johnson Johnson not being drawn in too much Ahmed likes to draw his opponents in make them make mistakes Johnson being careful just stabbing out the jab again the American making Nassi miss cat and mouse at the moment almost a kind of phony war I mean, has to rely on getting his, his heavy punches on and Johnson for the most part being very evasive see already that Johnson has worked on a game plan and is beginning to put it into effect so far so good for him because Nassi has not really been able to land with very much too cleanly not yet anyway but that could all change in an instant there he is switching again to lead with the left hand this time better than Nassi. two good left hands from him first significant work of the round really from the WBO champion remember Johnson holds the IVF belt and has done for the best part of four years still not a great deal of punches from either men landing correctly there was one of the attempted rocket launches Johnson slipped it cleverly That's good right hand. That's better from Prince Nassim and it's got the crowd going. And again he finds the American. There was an attempt there at that corkscrew uppercut which has dispatched quite a few opponents. There's a better finish to the round from Hamer, just jumping in and then quickly out. Landing and getting out of range. Second round well, he got the three. prediction right in his last defense against Remigio Molina, but this is an entirely different class of opponent. Johnson's been in no kind of trouble so far. At your bottom dollar that the showman inside Prince Nassim will know this is the round. He'll be thinking about it. Johnson knows about it too.
Johnson was saying he's just putting himself under pressure by naming a round. He said, what's uh, the Prince going to be thinking when they say round four, round five? Well, the two best punches from Johnson so far in the fight. Good right hand, come back with a, a, a wide left hook. Both of them landed. finds the target not quite as elusive as he used to be earlier on in his career for my money Prince Nassi Johnson dodging this way and that giving it plenty of lateral movement you just wonder if he has the capability somewhere inside to maybe take Nassim to school Very clever little left-hand counter from Johnson. Has boxed well so far in this round. Just there haven't been a, a great deal of punches landed from either men, but the, the cleaner shots and more of them have come from Johnson in this round. Again, Nassim tried the left hook. And he's been frustrated at the moment by this clever craftsman, but he does have the power to turn things around very very suddenly he's got him with a left hand Johnson backed up against the ropes has to take another right hand this time he's in a bit of trouble then a left is Nassim going to fulfill his prediction worst moment so far for the American he's wants to stand and trade which may not be wise breakthrough for Nassim who grins at close range at Johnson and he's caught him with the right hand again and Johnson wants to hold on. Combination punching. He's got Johnson going. This is a big round for the Prince. He falls over there. The crowd think it's a knockdown. It isn't. There are 22 seconds left in the round. But Johnson is unsteady. He's been hurt by punches here. He's trying to slug it out with Hamed and that could be dangerous. His legs did a silly dance there, Johnson in the middle of the ring. He's felt this power, can he take it? There's no doubt about it, Naz has got him going. Oh, and a right hand catches Nassim. Right as the bell sounds, a counter in right, very similar to the one that Manuel Medina caught him with and knocked his gum shield out with. That was a hurtful punch right at the end from Johnson, just to warn Hamed that it's not over yet fourth round how much has Johnson recovered Nassim started to nail him and again he gives him that little cocky grin through the gum shield Johnson retains his poker face it's a good left hand as well and again the legs look wobbly from Johnson this man has never authentically been stopped in a game. They wrestle each other to the floor. There is no knockdown. And Nassim there was doing a little imitation of the way he thinks Johnson's legs are looking. But Johnson's starting to feel the power now, looking unsteady on his legs. Is this excellent American world champion coming towards the end of his reign? He looks ready to be taken. His legs are betraying him a bit. Nassim can find another humdinger, you wonder what might happen. Prince Nassim looks like a man who believes he's in control of this and he may well be right. The punches are coming at Johnson at angles he hadn't really dreamt of despite all his experience. He's never seen anything like that this before, but he's still he's ready to stand and have a fight with Hamed. There's still big technical errors at times from Prince Nassim. When he does miss, it looks awful, and he does get countered with right hands. But my goodness me, he does pack a punch, and he's so quick, and he hits so hard. 